this is Erin Burgess, personal trainer at the Downtown Y. Today we're going to talk about aerobic versus anaerobic exercise. And in most basic terms, the word aerobic means with oxygen and the word anaerobic means without oxygen. So you're probably thinking, well, if I'm exercising without oxygen, am I still breathing? Yes, of course you are. So first we're going to talk about aerobic exercise. So Lyle here is running on the treadmill. He's at kind of a low to moderate intensity. Um, so he can steadily hold this pace for a while. He's breathing, using oxygen, sending it to the muscles, and he's burning a little bit of carbohydrate, but mostly burning fat. So he's pretty highly trained. He should be able to stay here for quite some time at a nice steady state. So if you were to take this exercise and make it anaerobic, he would go into a high intensity interval, push that intensity up by, he'd be burning a little bit more carbohydrates. It'd be a little bit harder, he couldn't go as long, and then he would bring the intensity down and recover. And now we're gonna go take it into the weight room and show you what some other anaerobic exercise looks like. Okay, now we're in the weight room with Lyle. He's going to be doing some thruster exercises for us, which is a perfect example of anaerobic exercise. Okay, so he's cranking up the intensity. He's going to be burning almost all carbohydrate during this exercise. And he's also creating lactic acid. So this would be something that he would only be able to do for maybe two minutes or less. Every time that you do an a uh, strength training exercise, that's going to be anaerobic. We can't take a strength training exercise and turn it into aerobic. It just uses different muscle groups, different body systems, and I'm sure you're familiar with lactic acid. That's the burn that you feel in your muscles that kind of limits your workout. But if we do a little bit of both, we can take some exercise and make them both aerobic and anaerobic, such as when we were on the treadmill. You can go slow and steady, that's aerobic. You can kick it up for sprints, that's anaerobic. With weight training exercise, it's always going to be anaerobic. But if you are someone who has been doing lots of steady state, lots of long cardio, then you're definitely going to benefit from putting in some of those higher bursts of energy because you're going to notice that your body can deal with lactic acid more easily and it's going to make you stronger all around. So try to add some heavy weight equipment or some sprints, or some, some high intensity things into your workout when you can. It's going to make you a lot stronger, a lot more efficient. Okay, so thanks for joining us today and watching our video. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen, please ask either the fitness director or any of the wellness coaches. We'd be happy to help you burn a little more lactic acid in your workout.